need people to type it in. Check Let us know who all up in here. Get up in that chat. Facts, facts. It's time to go up. Let's get it. We finna run straight through everything. Pause the play away, the fly away. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, let's get it, man. First off, how we want to kick it off, man? Let's kick it off with the main <laughs> topic that went live today, man. The thing that went down today. Yeah, well. Jay-Z. Right. One of the trending memes online. Hove. The dinner with Jay or the 500K? The 500K. We've seen this pop up in the media <laughs> several times over the years. It'll yeah. be a little debate. You will see the memes. You will see this. Then there have been trolls of uh, like niggas who will be sitting down eating with dinner with Jay. And then they'll use that as a meme. Hey, that nigga that that dumb nigga took the took the meal, or yeah. or, or nigga, nah, I'm a this or that. Did some people be strongly trying to come up with reasons why they would take the dinner over the five hundred k or whatever? Right. But Jay just did an interview with Gail King right. for CBS, mm -hmm. and they put out a promo clip. Jay, I'd love to hear what you think about this. If you had a choice between getting paid five hundred thousand dollars in cash or lunch with Jay Z, yeah. Which would you choose? You gotta, take, you gotta take the money. What, you gonna, what I'm gonna say? Yeah, you know I mean everything now. I'm gonna say. No, everything? no, only because people say, of course you take you take lunch with Jay Z because the wisdom that you would get from him would would be so uh, beneficial to you. There would yeah. only be a matter. You but, would take the money. Yeah, because you. you got the you got all that in the music for for ten ninety nine. That's a that's a bad deal. I would I wouldn't tell you to cut a bad deal. Like I don't take know. the five hundred thousand. Go buy some albums and listen to the albums. <laughs> it's all there. If, if you, okay. you if you piece it together and really listen to the music for the words for what it is, it's all there. Everything that I said was gonna happen, happened. Everything that I said I wanted to do, I've done. And th there's the blueprint. The blueprint, literally, to me and my life and my. Jay Z say, "Hey man, take the five hundred k, nigga. I didn't put everything in the albums. Goddamn right. Y'all can look into the music. The music is where it's at. Uh, I was a nigga that didn't need to hear Jay Z say that <sighs> before. Uh, uh, that was the decision that was made the first time oh, I God. saw the meme online, nigga. Like it is nothing that Jay Z can tell me at a at a, at a meal." That where I'm at in life, nigga, I'm going to turn down this 500K. If anything, that nigga might look at you crazy for not taking the money, bro. Man, you better listen to that red 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4. Nah, Just facts. Add that one up with the number I'm this taking before. that 500 You better say, yeah, man. We finna, we finna make that bitch flip. What? I'm like, talking about that bitch going to go to the gymnastics. Come on, man. So come you on. got so so you got certain people, they try to this and that, and I feel like, if you a nigga that don't need the five hundred k, then that conversation ain't even for you. Right. Or if you exactly. a nigga, or or really, cause I'm gonna be real, my personal opinion. If you got the five hundred, if 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 you a nigga that's already established, you shouldn't even want to pay five hundred k to have a dinner with Jay. Cause it's like, hey, bro, ain't ain't nothing broken really pitch me unless he already know me True. and understand what I want to do. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, hey, bro, yeah. da da da, cause. Jay-Z ain't sitting down talking to no any and everybody. Right. No, and I facts. feel like if you paid him 500 k just to talk, you really looking at you like a duck and a yeah, sucker. Come on, man. You feel me? Man, I'm going to just say it like this here, man. Yeah. Show me the money. Show me Fuck the all money. the other shit. Like, that, that other facts. shit just be... Niggas trying to sound cool, look cool, yeah. or whatever. I I, enough, that shit's stupid as fuck. I got enough game from him. I done listened to all this hell. Listen, man. We done watched the interview. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. Come on, man. Give yeah. me the money. Give me that five. We done seen the interviews. We done seen the we done seen the storyline. We done seen the transitions. Exactly. We done seen the fads. No, we done seen the trends. We done seen this. We done seen that. It's like the only reason I'm going to take the dinner is if a nigga finna tell me finna give me a job. Or he finna for sure put a word in for me for some other niggas uh, to give me a, a but, position but or a the, title. The dinner gotta be on some shit he wanna do with me. I'm not yeah, finna exactly. give a nigga no money. No yeah. money. Exactly. Well, they say if it's five hundred k on the table or this or this or that, but it's some shit. niggas like Rick Ross. He popped out and said, "Hey man." He he started talking about his situation with Jay. I'm gonna take the dinner and I'm gonna tell you why. In 08, before I turned in my second album. I had a meeting with Hov. We went to lunch. Philippe Chow, Manhattan. The chicken, the orange chicken on the stick with the peanut sauce was the vibe at the time. Let me cut through all the conversation. He said, Rose versus writing 
to every beat you like, right to every record you can make work. He told me a quick story about Big Pimpin'. I said, okay, bet. So I went from writing one record to every 80 beats I like to writing 40 records out of every 80 beats I could make work. It took me to another level as a writer, another level as an artist. The amount of work I was putting out was next level. So you gotta ask yourself, are you ready to digest the knowledge or you just wanna look at this watch at the table? Right? So I understand Hove reply. Asking Jay-Z, would you take the money up? I get it. Y'all know Hover humble. He an arrogant, humble. I get it. He thinking of a mother who ain't got nothing and only going to ask him about, yo, Hove, what it was like when Tupac did hit him up. Nigga, nobody don't want to hear that. Well, I would tell you get the money too. But if you ready to digest the knowledge that he going to give you, I'm talking about from topic to topic, topic to topic. It's priceless. That nigga Ross was describing that food in such heavy detail right there. What? Nigga, that nigga got the duh, 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 I ain't gonna lie, niggas in the comments. Say with the peanut that's sauce. That's like, hey, nigga Ross, that's like, nigga, y'all crazy if y'all think Ross turned it down to dinner, nigga. Oh, <laughs> God. But what? 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 Shout out to Ross. If I'm Shout sitting at a table man. eating with Jay Z, yeah. the last thing on my mind is a fucking song Tupac made. <laughs> nah, Come man. on, bro. Who gonna ask some shit like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, Ain't nobody just, finna ask. Uh, nothing about no. He just said some real bozo shit right there. I like, guess he thinking like, oh, if niggas sit down with Jay, they gonna want to do an interview with him. Hell, hell no, nah. nah, nigga, because this is already the the thought of, hey, I turned down five hundred k to come talk with you, nigga. Hey, nigga, unless I'm a kid, I'm a grown man, nigga. I'm, sh hey, nigga, we here. You know who I am. We gonna how long this dinner gonna be, nigga? Maybe about an hour. All right, nigga, we gonna. I'm gonna introduce, you, tell what it come from. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah. Hey, duh, duh, duh. But I'm not concerned with sitting down with. I'm just saying if right. it's business. I'm it's just saying if I was exactly. in that scenario, yeah. if I was doing a business meeting. But I know what you say. I yeah. think he mean no shit like nigga, niggas who gonna sit down and ask like in like interview yeah. type questions. Yeah, but uh, like what nigga in his right mind would do that? <laughs> nah, nobody. You feel me? Nobody. Like, <laughs> man, come on, man. Listen, I'm not trying to yeah. learn. I man, yeah. listen, man. Give me the money. Give me the exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work the bread. Yeah. And then if I run across Jay Z, yeah. I just run across Jay Z. Facts. But other than Facts. that, I'm not trying to do nothing. We ain't trying I, to have you none of that going on. Oh nigga. God, see, yeah, fuck that. I ain't that, trying that to ask no niggas crazy. no weird questions, nigga. Nah, I'm on some man, shit. I like, don't uh, even listen, man. Yeah. I didn't listen to you, nigga, a long time. You know what I'm saying, yeah. nigga, nigga? You one of the reasons why niggas transition. You know what I'm saying, thought patterns and everything. Exactly. So like, like he said, nigga, I've been giving you the game anyway. Nigga, take the bread and shit. If you don't do nothing with it, that's on you. But if you exactly. smart, you gonna take that shit and go. On. Gonna, gonna you know what I'm saying? Take the fuck off. And nigga, he told, that he telling crazy. niggas it's a bad deal, and this nigga still trying to make it make sense oh, and make it a good deal. The horse mouth said, "Nigga, take, take the, the money." money. <laughs> and see, he had sent it through somebody before already. Right. He had already sent it through, like word through the. Hey man, Jay Z said, "Take that, take that money, bro." Like, yeah. come on, nigga. To say this again, the niggas, ninety percent of people in America don't make. A hundred thousand a year, exactly. bro. Probably Come more on. than that. Now, who knows? It just is what it is. I know shit look away on Instagram. I know everybody look like they balling and lit. Exactly, but in bro, real life. In real life, Come people on, don't man. clear a hundred thousand dollars a year, bro. That exactly. don't mean you not doing cool. That don't mean that you fucked up. That don't mean right. you doing bad because money shouldn't determine your overall happiness, exactly. bro. But man. 500K is a lot of money to the common everyday person. Man. And that's 90% of the you, people if in you, America. If you naturally a hustler, bro, yeah. you going to take that money and go. And do what you want. You know on. what I'm saying? That shit like springs, nigga. You going to yeah. boing, nigga. What? Take yeah. 500K? Fuck off. Hey, nigga, if it's meant for us to get in the same room again, we will. Yeah, that's nigga. what I'm yeah, saying. Chop it up then. Yeah. That's what, what I'm saying. saying. But I, I want to touch on something you said about, you know, Bro, when I stopped cherishing money and feeling like money was the end all be all, yeah. bro, man, life got so much easier. 
Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like that's so much easier. Like now that I don't, all money is to me is a tool. Mm-hmm. I use it's, it's a tool, bro. That's it. Like I, I simply see it as a tool, yeah. and I use it to help myself, to help others, to 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 build shit. Like, man, I wish I thought like the way I think now. I wish I thought like this, like in 2008, 2009. Shit, I ain't no cap. Ah, damn, there'll probably be a millionaire right now. For like, sure. No bullshit. When yeah. I stop, like, just feeling like, oh, man, money is the... It, yeah, you money know, it, it's, it's, it's the, it, it, be the, it be the thought process. Uh, yeah. Even though niggas don't need, they don't really understand or know at certain times right. in their life where nigga really in love with money. Yeah. I and that shit, that shit is, that shit ain't, that shit is like, you know what they say, it's the root of all That you. shit is not healthy. You feel what so, I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, once you understand, like, okay, this shit ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, like this shit, this shit ain't even tool. bring me life for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? This shit is like, just a tool, bro. You'd be all right. And, and niggas got to know that and understand that, bro. You need money. You want money. Right. You gotta. You should go hard and try to get your money. But that don't let that be the all the term the, the, the yes. determination of everything around you. Because then guess That's what? It. Money controls your soul, yes. not you. Exactly. And that's what niggas will try to flip. Oh, that's broke nigga talk. Nah, no, that's not broke. That's nigga niggas talk. who let yeah. the money control their exactly. soul. It's a lot of niggas now who let the internet control their soul. Nah, they facts. let <laughs> fame and attention control their soul. Yeah. And once you become that guy, you will never have enough, nigga. You will never be happy because right. you always valuing yourself off okay. of how much money you got. Yes, sir. How 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 other people perceive you. You yeah. a slave to perception, bro. Yes, Keep I, that stuff off of you man, at all I, times. I've been there, bro. Yeah. Speaking from experience. Yeah. You ain't said nothing wrong. Facts. And that ain't no broke nigga talk. Yeah. That's real nigga talk. No, so like, facts. nigga, take that money and use that shit as a tool. Like, facts. you know what I'm saying? Use that shit as a tool to help yourself get in a better situation. And then once you do that, you start helping the people around you get in a better situation. And yeah. guess what? Everybody got a bankroll now. No, you know what I mean? That's what I say, nigga. I don't cherish that shit no more. I I, I, I use it as a tool. Like, simply. like. Yeah. And I used to be one of them niggas like, man, consumed by money. Like, cream. Nigga, I used to live by that motto. Cash rules everything around me. And guess yeah. what? I was miserable as fuck. I ain't had no time for Hey, my you know, it'd it be the most stressed out. You know why I ain't gonna lie, where I learned that shit at, for real, uh-huh. is in prison. Right. Like straight up. Yeah. Cause every time a nigga was on the streets and, and I was really like hustling yeah. and shit, nigga was hella stressed out. I'm telling you. Nigga bro. was 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 trying to collect, take however I however I had to get it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Plotting scheme and all that other all shit. That shit man. You feel me? But nigga, when I went down there and I was like, damn. Like it ain't no money in here for real. You know what I'm saying? And you got you got to depend on people to send you whatever little yeah, chochos sure. or whatever. And shout out to all my people that held me down up yeah. in there. I got a lovely family. I was blessed. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but to see other people without and just just seeing how people make do with it, right. and some people was was still in the mindset of like, man, I got a scheme and plotting. You know what I'm saying? Then you had a lot of them that, that, like, a lot of the older guys, it's like I learned from them, like, like man, that shit don't mean nothing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, because up in here, that shit don't mean nothing. It don't mean a bitch yeah. ass thing. You know what I'm saying? Even nothing, the niggas would, they be, I ain't gonna lie, I had big bags, commissary, yeah. shit like that, but I could have shit. You know what I'm saying? So I really ain't have to. You know what I'm saying? I'm cutting the hand shit. I'm so giving away that, more. Yeah. Right. It's way. coming to but, you. But I'm I'm giving away more more haircuts and shit because right. it's a hella niggas that's really yeah. fucked up fucked down up. there. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? I tell people this who like 18, 19, bro, or niggas even it's like 21, 22, 23, 24, bro, you get more financially educated every year you dribble more. Yeah. 
Yes. Just every time you hit the, you know, you Facts. playing the game of life every year and every year, more and more you you learn your game. Like you come out fast, got the uh, the skills, the highlights of just a young nigga. You ain't thinking, you just having fun. But when you get older, you start getting techniques. Right. You start no, learning facts. a little facts. bit facts. more. You start, facts. okay, facts. nah, nigga, this is this is that. Right. Duh, duh, duh. Okay, nah, we going to move like this with it. That I could have did that better. Could have did that better. Why well, I ain't got to blow all this? I ain't got to blow all that. That's why older people, plus, they didn't have as much stuff to blow their money on back then as right. far as just mm-hmm. relentless, just I mean, just frivolous bullshit. That's why older people be having they stash up because they right. didn't went through yeah. the, 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 the phases of fucking off. Tricking off, blowing off, and, and like, hey. And then, then a lot of the older generation too. Yeah. You know, like, like the older, older generation, mm-hmm. money was 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 rare to come by for real. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? Not because nice. you had so many avenues and shit that was really stopping them from getting. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or they was really getting paid lesser. You know what I'm saying? So if you had people in them in that time that you, if you was a able to talk to like your like your great grandparents and shit like that right. yeah. when when shit was like oh, I remember when bread was two cents type shit yeah. yes. and then you see how hard they really work for them two pennies for real mm-hmm. it's like your understanding you know what I'm saying I know a lot of the generation they ain't get to they ain't really get to see that you know what I'm yeah. saying and then some of they older people like was on drugs and yeah. you know what All I'm saying right. cuz you know that drug phase came and hit hit the game and, and it fucked over it fucked a lot of on some generational shit. Lot. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. Like a lot Not of that, all, a, 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 a lot, lot of that, a lot of that knowledge yeah. that was supposed to be passed down didn't really get to get shared. You know what I'm saying? Because right. they didn't pass on. You know what I'm saying? Or the person who was supposed to pass it on got on drugs and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and lost way. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Right. But man, once crazy. you if you in pl- you once you playing the game, bro, you'll figure it out, bro. Right. You'll learn about networking. You'll learn about you know trial and tribulation. That's why I say you get the five hundred k and you go out here and you figure it out on yourself, nigga. You gonna figure it out, bro. If you want to figure it out, you dedicated to figure it oh, out. Yeah. It ain't nothing that Jay Z gonna be able to tell you. The game that Ross right. was talking about was game that worked. Because he was already in position. Right. So that's different. That's why I say that's a conversation that don't need to be really all the way had with niggas, bro. And y'all, look, man, everybody going to go through their own little stuff. Yes. Everybody got their own mindset. But I don't care who you niggas is. If you just a regular nigga living outside trying to make it and you tell me, hey, nigga, I'm not taking this dinner. with I'm going to take this money. Nigga, Jay-Z going to look at you like you crazy. Yep. Just he basically telling you that it's a bad deal. But that's that, man. <laughs> no, facts. <laughs>